because as long as you have those four core groups covered, then you're gonna be ready for whatever. Hey everybody, Parker York Smith here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we focus on building your confidence through men's fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. So if you like the sound of that, hit that subscribe button and join the gang. So whether you're just starting to build your wardrobe or maybe you're trying to become a little bit more of a minimalist with your style, whatever, just if you're interested in style at all, this is gonna be a great video for you. Understanding what types of shoes work with different types of outfits is really important in order for you to be able to feel your best, but also to feel as confident as you can in your clothes. Keep in mind, I'm showing you four different categories today. I am not telling you to literally go by exactly what I'm showing you. I want you to look at them as larger categories so that when you are shopping for yourself, if you're really into a certain style that falls into that category, go with that, even if it's not exactly what I showed you. Also, be sure you stick around to the very end because if you already have the four that I'm showing you, I am gonna go a little bit further and tell you some other styles you can be looking for. This is your everyday casual shoe. They work with literally anything. I would challenge you to try and find an outfit that a minimal sneaker does not look good with. Personally, I would always recommend going with an all white leather because they're versatile, they go with tons of different outfits, and if they get dirty, they're super easy to just wipe clean. But if you're someone who tends to wear a lot more black or dark colors, go with black, go with gray. You do not have to do all white. Just be sure that they're a neutral color that doesn't stand out too much because this is gonna increase their versatility and allow you to wear them with a lot more different styles. This is the shoe to throw on during the day or when you're going out at night and you're just being extremely casual. They work with anything from shorts and a t-shirt to jeans and a sweater all the way up to like a casual styling of a suit. They're insanely versatile. Some brands that I love, New Republic, the Kurt sneaker, I think they're 98 bucks. So they're gonna last you a while and they're also still extremely affordable. If you do wanna spend a little bit more money, Greats brand, it's fantastic. They're handmade in Italy, so the quality is insane. I think they're like $179, so it just kinda depends on what you're willing to spend. As usual, if you spend a little bit more money, they're probably gonna last you a little bit longer, so keep that in mind. Up next for those times when a sneaker just feels a little bit too casual, that is when I would recommend grabbing a pair of boots. This is a huge category. There are tons of different styles, but I think the best place to start is a nice lace-up style in black or brown. If you're someone who feels a little bit more comfortable in earth tones, then get brown. Whereas if you're someone who feels a little bit more comfortable in neutrals or all black, then do black. It's an easy shoe to throw on when you do wanna dress up just a simple t-shirt and jeans, or you can lean in a little bit more outdoorsy and go with like some chinos and a flannel. If a lace-up just doesn't really feel like your style, then maybe you'd prefer to go with a Chelsea, but if you do, be sure that you consider your personal lifestyle before you buy something. What I mean by that is think about it, and if you're someone who spends a ton of time outside, then maybe go with something that is a little bit more rugged, like these Blundstones. You can beat them up and they're just gonna keep looking better and better. And odds are, if that is how you're spending your time, you're probably dressing a little bit more casually. So a boot like this is gonna work great. Whereas if you're more of a city person, then you're probably dressing up a little bit more. So maybe you'd prefer a Chelsea that is just a little bit more dressy and sleek as opposed to something that's super outdoorsy and rugged. Boots are my go-to shoe for a night out because they feel a little bit more dressy than a sneaker and they're also a little bit more protective of my foot. So if someone steps on my shoe or if something gets spilled on them, it's not gonna mess up the shoe like it might with a sneaker. And I just feel a little bit more classy, a little bit more dressed up when I wear them. Blundstone, Taft, Steve Madden, Blake McKay, these are all brands with varying price points that I wear a lot and I really love. So those are good ones to check out. Now for those times when you need to be a little bit dressier than a sneaker or a boot can provide, then that's when you reach for a dress shoe. Same tips apply in terms of color choice. I would personally always recommend brown just because I feel like they are a lot more versatile. You can wear them with gray, navy, and the full range of colors. Whereas black, you're kind of stuck wearing it with only black or gray. It's not gonna match very well with other colors. Personally, my favorite style of dress shoe is a classic Oxford wingtip like these right here. In brown, they're dressy, they're stylish, but they're not overly bold. It's just something that's never gonna go out of style. These have been around forever and they can work with 
all kinds of different outfits. If you are not into laces, that's totally fine. A loafer is great. Some people would argue that a loafer is a little bit more casual than a lace-up dress shoe, so just keep that in mind. If it doesn't matter to you, then that's completely fine. I don't think it's something you really need to be that worried about. This is the shoe you reach for when you're going to a wedding or a job interview, or just any time when you need to be as dressy as possible. Some people are into wearing them with dark jeans and like a button-up shirt for a business casual outfit, and if you are into that, I think that's fine. Personally, I would probably gravitate more towards like a dress pant with a button-up shirt, maybe a sweater. That's a classic business casual outfit that I'm a huge fan of. Again, for brands, Taft, GH Bass, Kenneth Cole, Johnston & Murphy, Blake McKay, there, there's lots. You could easily just Google it and find tons of different options for yourself. And finally, a category that I don't think enough people put emphasis on are good athletic shoes. Now, obviously sneakers are hugely popular. I have far too many of them myself, but I'm talking shoes that you're actually going to use to work out in. I'm a huge believer that looking good during your workouts is going to make your workouts a ton better. I've experienced this myself. Whether it's going for a run or lifting at the gym, be aware of the shoes you're putting on. Also, for those times when you just kind of want to rock an athleisure outfit, like jeans feel like too much, throw on sweats and a sweatshirt with your workout shoes, and because they look good, it's gonna make you feel a lot better in your most casual outfits. Athletic sneakers range from pretty tame to ridiculously bold, so it's really up to you and your preference. They're, they can look good in all the range of colors and everything. I mean, Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, all the classic brands, Asics, Brooks, there are so many. The tough part with these is deciding how much you wanna spend because if you spend a ton, it might not be a great idea because if you are being active in them like you should be, they're not gonna last you forever. Whereas if you don't spend enough, they can be low quality and either fall apart or they can lead to injuries if you're like going running in them. So spending as much as you're comfortable, I think is smart for quality, for looks, for everything. And there you go, four shoe categories to start your wardrobe or to just kind of build a minimal wardrobe for yourself. As promised, if you already have all four of these, then what I would recommend doing is sticking within the categories and starting to diversify and give yourself other options. Think about what you're wearing most regularly. So if you're wearing your minimal sneakers all the time, then maybe grab yourself a black option instead of just the white or a gray, something to allow yourself to create different vibes in your outfits, especially with a category that you're already really comfortable with because you know tons of different ways for yourself to style your white sneakers. Now think of all the different ways you could throw on the black ones and change your looks just a slight bit. But overall, getting yourself squared away with the basics is the smartest way to build your wardrobe and have yourself prepared for whatever life throws your way. Because as long as you have those four core groups covered, then you're gonna be ready for whatever. Thank you so much, guys. I put links down in the description to a bunch of these that I liked within the four categories. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was helpful for you, hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions for me, you can leave them down in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram. Go follow me there as well as on TikTok for lots of other style tips and outfit ideas. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.